When we compare two numbers, we're trying to find out which number is greater or bigger. Let's look at this comparison here. We have 54 and 48. Now these are the three symbols that we can use to represent this comparison. We'll get to those later. Let's start by representing the numbers 54 and 48. I'm going to represent 54 in red over here. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You'll see that I'm trying to draw 10 strips. And then we have four more. One, two, three, four. There's 54. On the other side, I'll represent the number 48. Now, as you can see, I can tell something already. I could see that over in 54 here, I have five groups of 10. Whereas in 48, there are only four groups of 10. That already tells me that if I have more groups of 10, then 54 is greater than 48. There are more in 54 than there are in 48. Now, how do I represent that? Well, I use the greater than symbol. Often you might have heard of the alligator opening its mouth towards the bigger number. You want to make sure that the bigger number always has the opening towards it. This says 54 is greater than 48. If I were to do a comparison between these two numbers, 16 and 18, I could see that 18 would be bigger than 16. So I'm not going to open the uh, greater than symbol towards the 16. Instead, it will be towards the 18. This here says 16 is less than 18 which means that 18 is greater than 16. And that's how we compare numbers. We're always looking for which number is greater and then writing the correct symbol. The last case you may have is if you have the exact same number. Now 17 and 17 have the exact same value, which means that those two numbers are equal to one another.